Good morning. My name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team at Harvesting History. Harvesting History is an heirloom horticultural company. We specialize in heirloom, non-GMO, flower, vegetable, and herb seeds. We also have sets like onion sets and shallot sets, and we also have roots like asparagus roots. In addition, we have heirloom variety potatoes, seed potatoes, and in the fall, we have heirloom garlic, a rather large collection of heirloom garlic. Our website is www.harvesting-history.com. And today we are going to talk about some of my most favorite plants, the citrus trees, that can be grown in containers and will produce fruit in your homes throughout the winter and the early spring and then you put them outside to enjoy the summer sun. Today we're talking about the kaffir lime. It is a lime that is very popular in Asian cuisine. The word kaffir, I am told, uh, because I don't know very much about this aspect of Asia. The word kafir is a slang term with a very negative connotation. So even though this lime is known as the kafir lime, perhaps a more appropriate name is the makrut lime, or in some areas, it is also known as the Mauritius papida. So, we're going to just call it the Makrut for now, but it can be found as the Kaffir Lime um, in some horticultural companies. The thing to remember about this Makrut is that as Americans, we don't eat the fruit. The fruit is a small lime, no more than about that big, and the fruit is very bitter because the Asian diet, many of the recipes in the Asian diet require a strongly bitter fruit or leaf or herb in order to um, flavor whatever is being cooked. So you grow this lime not for its fruit but for its leaves. You can use its leaves in American cooking, they have a lovely but very distinctive lemony flavor. Very strong, so you don't need a lot. And what I want you to do is take a look at how different the leaf structure is on this makrut. So if you look at it, the leaf really is in two parts. And if I, if I pull... This is a Persian lime, and look at how different the leaf structure is. So what you do with a lime with the makrut is <clears throat> you take one or two leaves, bend them in half, and then use them to flavor whatever dish it is that you are making. It is <clears throat> a very easy plant to grow. And you are, remember, you are growing it for its leaves, not for its fruit. So this is the Makrut, more commonly known as the Kaffir Lime, and in some areas called the Mauritius Papita. This lime is used for its flavor of its leaves. And also, if you're like me, the leaves themselves give off a fragrance. So as you brush by this plant throughout the winter, it gives off this lovely fragrance and reminds you that, that yes, it's there and it's a citrus and you should be so happy that you have it. Again, come visit our website. These trees are available on our website at www.harvesting.com dash history dot com